now for a glimpse of the connected home of the future. With me is Clay Owen of AT&T. First thing we have to do is to get through the door. Clay. Yeah, so say you wanted to come visit me and I hadn't made it home yet. You could give me a ring and say, Mark, say, Clay, I'm outside your door. Well, I might want to make sure it's you because I don't know you very well. So I could look at my AT&T tablet through my AT&T digital life system and say, yes, in fact, there's Mark outside the door. So with the touch of a button here, I can hit the button that says front door locked. It's all connected to the wireless network. And with that, the door will unlock and you can let yourself in, take care of everything while you're inside. So you're doing all this remotely with your smartphone? That's right, either your smartphone or your tablet, and it's all connected to the network. And that camera up there is pretty crucial. It is. So the, we, we see this as a real gr great security system, peace of mind system, and a great way to make sure that your kids get home safely. And it's part of a, a wider network of a system to help you protect and look after your home. That's right. So as a home automation and security system, there are a number of devices that you can actually attach to this. So you can have water detection, you can have locks, you can actually turn on and off your lights and even adjust your thermostat. Everybody wants as much light as possible to go through the windows into their house, but there are some rooms you want to have a bit of privacy, like the bathroom. How do you cope with that one? Well, you know, the AT&T Digital Life System can control a lot of different things. In this case, we're going to actually be able to turn this window from transparent to opaque just with the uh, touch of a button. But what happens if you forget your smartphone? <laughs> we can always have a manual override, you know. There's like any light switch or any kind of switch in the house. You can either use your tablet, your smartphone, or you can use the manual override. Right. Raises digital privacy issues we hadn't previously thought of. Yeah, we'll have to think through some of those, yeah. Thank you, Clay. <laughs> Thank you very much.